What's up guys, it's Sui Viver, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do some through the lens photos again, but this time a little bit different. I'm gonna use virtual desktop. In this video, I'm gonna compare the Pimax 8KX versus the Valve Index and also Samsung Odyssey. This is actually a very simple test and if you want to get an idea of how your VR headset look in virtual desktop compared to these headsets, you can try this on your own. I'm gonna give you all the information you need. Guys, before we begin, please subscribe to my channel for more VR content. Thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters and my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Anyway, we're gonna use virtual desktop as I said. I'm simply mirroring or showing my 1440p resolution gaming monitor in virtual desktop and the screen distance according to virtual desktop is always 7 meters here. Now what I'm gonna do here is to change the screen size of the virtual desktop. This to give you an idea how far I can go back until icons and text becomes unreadable and too blurry or shimmery. So all the through the lens photos here have been taken with various virtual desktop screen sizes. I have tried screen sizes between 150 and down to 50 which actually is super tiny. Now let me just show you a couple of settings very quickly before we jump into the photos. For Pimax 8KX I used Pytool render quality at 1.5 which gives a slightly better sharpness and more clarity than 1.0 which is default, especially in desktop work and virtual desktop. But to make it a fair test against Valve Index and Samsung Odyssey I decreased the SteamVR super sampling to 46% so it renders roughly 3800 pixels horizontally per eye which is basically native 4K resolution per panel. With Valve Index I used SteamVR super sampling of 356%. The reason for this is I want a total horizontal resolution rendered to be as close to the Pimax 8KX as possible and in this case 3804 pixels per panel. When it comes to the Samsung Odyssey it uses a much lower native resolution for some reason at default and I couldn't go higher than 500% on the Steam VR super sampling but it gave me roughly 3150 horizontal pixels rendered per eye which should be high enough for this test. Okay, so let's jump into it and start off with Pimax 8KX versus Valve Index. I have included all the important test specifications here in case you miss something. All the photos are taken from the same position of course and I should probably add that the desktop icon revive dashboard is the main thing to look at here as the camera has mainly focus on it. And don't mind the blur on the sides of the photos, it's just my camera lens which only focuses on a small portion of the screen. By the way, all photos are taken with a Panasonic GH5 camera and a very sharp 12mm lens, which is equivalent to 24mm in full frame. And no macro is used here because it's not really needed in this test. Okay, I will be quiet now, I promise. Let's check out the through the lens photos. Now let's add Samsung Odyssey into this test. Remember all photos are taken identically, same camera settings and from the same position and distance which is very important of course. As a disclaimer I also want to add yes I work for Pimax but this is just an independent test as a VR enthusiast I want to show you what these headsets can show you in virtual desktop. And if you allow me to add my opinion here 
the 8KX is very impressive and can easily handle desktop work in virtual desktop. It renders readable icons and icon text down to screen size 70 or maybe 65. Lower than that, the icon text starts to shimmer or become a little bit more blurry. On the other hand, everything below screen size 70 is super small anyway. And remember, I'm using in this test a 1440p resolution monitor, which is very important because the size of the monitor in virtual desktop will be based on the resolution of your PC monitor, of course. On Valve Index, on everything below screen size 110, the icon text is no longer readable, I would say. And on the Samsung Odyssey, already with screen size 130, it's very difficult to read the icon text at all. Well, and if you wonder about the HP Reverb, unfortunately I only have the version 1 and some of you have been complaining about the quality of my through the lens photos of the HP Reverb version 1, so that's why I'm leaving it out and I can all just tell you that the HP Reverb is probably very very similar to Pimax 8KX when it comes to readability and sharpness and desktop work in virtual desktop. Now let me know what you think about this guys, if you have any questions leave them in the comments down here below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more VR content coming up. Guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, cheers!